All right, let's talk about the no longer winless uh, Bryce Young and Carolina Panthers here as the offense looked looked better in this one. I think the Texans defense played well, but I thought that Bryce Young did some nice things and honestly could have even been better statistically uh, had a few things gone differently. But like, let's start off with this play where it's going to be a third down and eight early on in this game, have a one-on-one matchup on the outside and, and you see how this route can work, right? Uh, kind of, you know, breaks towards the outside. If you time it well, there should be a window as long as it's a well-ran route to get a potential completion here. So, all right, for Bryce Young, makes sense to look in this direction. So, Young's going to take the snap. He is going to look in that direction. And at this point, you don't know if it's going to be open, right? Uh, this is Jonathan Mingo, the you know rookie wide receiver, who they're hoping can do some nice things for them. He has the outside leverage, though. And I think that's what Bryce Young likes here. And again, in this situation, you kind of have to get rid of the ball early. You have to throw with a bit of anticipation, which a lot of young quarterbacks struggle with. But this is something that Bryce Young didn't struggle with at college, at the college level, which is why a lot of us felt like he could have come in and be good right away, similar to how like Mac Jones came in and was good right away, even if Jones's career hasn't uh, taken off uh, since that point. Well, watch how Young really does time this one perfectly, throws it perfectly. Mingo, to me, that's a drop. Yeah, you had to dive to make it and all that, but that's a drop in my opinion. So that's something that you have to, you know, you hope that those just eventually become catches. Drops do happen. It is what it is. There were a couple plays, though, where Young put the ball in a good spot and it just wasn't complete for whatever reason. And that's kind of happened, you know, throughout the course of this season. We all know Panthers have their issues offensively, but, but there were some nice plays by the Panthers offense as a whole in this one. This play is a little one, but, uh, you know, a good one, uh, which is what some people say about Bryce Young himself. Uh, you know, what's going to happen here is it's a man coverage play, first down and 10 right at midfield. Bryce Young's going to take the snap, and you see how there's a blitz. Uh, it's picked up pretty nicely, though. Young likes that throw, which makes sense. It's open to get you some yards. Is it going to get you a ton? I don't know. But, you know, here's the issue. There is a player who's kind of in between Young and his receiver, it's that guy right there. You see how, the, you know, it's a bit of a tough throw. You don't want to do what Brock Purdy did this week, right, where you, you try to throw it over a player who ends up just being able to you know, catch it and gets an interception. Got to be a little bit more aware, and Bryce Young, to his credit, is noticing this. Watch Young step up in the pocket, navigates it well, then flips it over, and, uh, you know, look, look to me like Thielen could have maybe had a, a first down on that play, uh, instead decided to kind of, you know, cut back for whatever reason. Don't know why he did that, but, uh, you know, either way, it was a good play by Young to allow allow that to happen in the first place, which is why I'm showing it, why I thought that that was very good. The pocket, mo you know, the mobility of Young in general, that was really well done, I thought, in this game. He really did show that off. Also, heading over to something like this, it's going to be a zone coverage play, and you see the way this concept can potentially work, where those two routes, the reason why it could work out well is, so there's a corner who's supposed to cover deep on that side of the field, right? But with two routes going there, is he going to be able to cover both of those guys? No. So just, you know, something to keep note of. But let's watch what happens once this play starts. Bryce Young takes the snap. There's pressure coming. Not picked up totally well. Bryce Young, currently, there's a hand on his back right now. But down the field, you see the corner is going further underneath. He's taking, you know, trying to cover the guy who was on his side of the field, which which you understand, right? That, that follows. But because of this, well, what does that mean? Adam Thielen right there is in a situation where, you know, there's an opportunity for him to get open on this play. Tavier Thomas is the guy who's covering him, which is still, you know, a good slot corner. So it's not like you have a complete mismatch. Sometimes when you do this, you get like linebackers on uh, him or something like that, which can be really nice. Not happening here. So still, it's an advantage, but it's not a massive one. And for Bryce Young, like I said, there's a guy with his hand on his back right here. So can you pull this off? Well, watch Young get out of it. He is going to throw off balance and really throws a nice football there. I mean, I guess if I want to be nitpicky, he could have been a little higher, but you're throwing off balance that far down the field, like, you know, and trying to get it there quickly. Uh, yeah, I think it's still a good throw by Young. Really a great play by Bryce Young to make that happen. Again, one more play talking about the pocket presence and how it uh, equates to him throwing the football because that's the big thing, right? Plenty of quarterbacks can can move and there are faster quarterbacks than Bryce Young in the NFL, of course, but it's his ability to move while still keeping his eyes down the field is, you know, that's a big part of what got him drafted first overall. What's happening right here, it is a man coverage play and you see the route going over the middle. 
watch as when Young takes the snap, he's going to look for that route. But, you know, as of this moment, it's not exactly, again, the angle that he wants. There is, once again, a linebacker over the middle, so it's going to be a little bit tougher. So again, watch him step up in the pocket, then makes the off-balance throw, and they pick up that completion. These are the kind of little things that he does. It's so small, and you could argue it's not even entirely necessary, but it's just making the throw a little bit easier for him, making the angle a little bit easier. You know, a lot of people talk about the the height as part of the issue with Bryce Young, but the counter-argument for Young was always, well, he moves around so much, he can get himself good angles to make these throws in this game that's absolutely what happened going over here I mean we got to talk about this play right this was this was the play I mean this was the play in the football game I well yes technically Carolina if they didn't convert here would have still had a chance it's you know fourth down and two both teams have all their timeouts left three minutes and 22 seconds left Carolina is down a point so you know not being able to convert here you still have a chance but you need a stop and even if you get a stop you're going to be deep in your own territory and probably no timeouts left. Like, it's tough. You really want to convert here. It's a big swing in the football game. And for Houston, they're actually taking away uh, the bottom of the screen. So, you know, hey, for Carolina, they're like, cool. Adam Thielen's been our guy. One-on-one -on -one matchup with him. You know, that's the route you see on the screen. That's where they're going to look. Bryce Young takes the snap. He does look towards where Thielen is. And it's one of those weird situations where it kind of got slowed up a little bit. For So another receiver for Carolina is actually somewhat in the area. That's actually uh, the running back, Miles Sanders, the other guy who's in the area. Uh, and he's going to do something nice on this play. But first, let's watch Thielen and let's watch Bryce Young. You know, there's a window. Got to make this throw. Watch Bryce Young put it right where he wanted to. And I give credit to Miles Sanders for reading the situation and getting out of the way. I feel like instinctively, you'd almost try to make a catch, but that would have been a much tougher catch for Sanders to make than for Thielen to make. So great awareness from Sanders to not try and catch that football, but realize where it was going, step out of the way, and let Thielen be the guy who catches the football and picks up the first down right there. Really good stuff by Carolina. And again, they were able to get in field goal range. They ran out the clock and they won the football game after, uh, you know, Houston tried to block the kick like 57 times by jumping off sides. They finally won. And for Bryce Young, he's showing some nice things. He really is. I do think the criticism has gotten a bit too crazy early on. And like, I get it. I mean, you look at what some of the other young quarterbacks have done. Anthony Richardson, I don't know if I would say he was even better than Bryce Young this season, but was a lot more electric, making more highlights, which is obviously what's going to get people's attention. Uh, CJ Stroud's been awesome as a rookie, uh, and, you know, Will Levis came in and obviously, you know, had a great statistical day, but, like, people are in different situations, and Bryce Young, he's been in a tough situation. He made the most of it in this game, really looked great, and, you know, I'll say this. I thought Bryce Young was the better quarterback on the football field. Uh, I thought he played better than C.J. Stroud in this one game. I still thought Stroud played pretty well, too. Both defenses showed up, and Bryce Young did just enough to get his team to a victory, which was uh, exciting to see if you're a Panthers fan, because you don't want to go 0-17, especially in a year when you don't have your first round pick. So, uh, you know, good thing for them. They're no longer uh, you know, projected to pick first. They would pick second here. So you didn't give away the first overall pick for Bryce Young as it stands right now, only the second overall pick. Uh, I know that, you know, and hey, who knows? Maybe you get, a, get hot a little bit. NFC South is wide open. Hey, it's possible. But either way, fun win for the Panthers. That's what I think. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.